Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at an open source tool uh, which will be he helping us to scan our system for security vulnerabilities. Okay, so let us see like uh, which tool uh, we can use to scan our system. So there are various tools which are available in uh, open source community which can be uh, which we can use uh, to scan our infra. Okay, so one of them uh, is Open OpenScape. So if you go and search for OpenScape, uh, it will be routed to this uh, website, uh, which uh, provides all the information related to this tool. Okay, so this tool is basically uh, uh, will help us to scan our system for configuration issues, and it also helps us to. Uh, scan our system for security vulnerabilities okay so these are the two types of scans that we can carry out this tool uh, using this tool so there are various uh, like uh, tools which are provided like you have the GUI tool and uh, you have the or a CLI tool uh, which are available so if you go into this uh, uh, tools section so you will get to see like what all uh, tools are available or uh, provided by this community okay so you can see openscape base so it is basically a CLI tool which is provided uh, by this community and scape workbench is the GUI tool uh, provided uh, with the same capabilities uh, as base tool okay and these are some other tools which provides additional features uh, which you can explore uh, further but uh, let me tell you uh, in a uh, very uh, basic in uh, basic like how exactly this tool help uh, will scan our system okay so this tool is basically uh, going to use a set of policies uh, which are written in xml format uh, which consists of a set of rules uh, written uh, to identify a system whether it is compliant with that specific rule or not so based on that rules uh, we are going to scan our system and identify whether our system is compliant with that specific set of rules or not okay so with that we'll be able to identify uh, whether our system is compliant with that uh, rule or not and it will uh, generate a report uh, with that uh, scan uh, scanning what whatever it is uh, ca carrying out with the policy files okay so there are, as I said, there are two types of uh, policy files that you can use. Uh, one is for uh, config uh, configuration uh, scanning, and the other one is for uh, vulnerability scanning. Okay. So here in this video, we are going to see how we can use uh, this tool to scan for security vulnerabilities. Okay. So if you go and search for OL definition files, so let me search for you going to all definitions okay it will take you to the you going to oval security page okay so this uh, basically uh, uh, this is the canonical or you going to uh, open source community team uh, which provides uh, this definitions file definition files okay so for this you need to download this uh, uh, zip uh, download this uh, a separate format of uh, XML for uh, definition files and then you can evaluate uh, your system using those XML files which contains the uh, rules okay so the, it contains the overall uh, uh, security con uh, vulnerability rules uh, which are scanned with this overall def uh, with this openscape uh, scanning tool okay so as you can see this is a three-step process wherein it we download the uh, zip file then we unzip the xml file and then we use this oscap command line utility to scan our system using that definition file okay so as you can see this is the command which you can use wherein we are passing the uh, 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 we are passing the definition file here this one and then we are generating this report uh, in the HTML format 
okay so this basically scans our system and once that report is available you can uh, use your favorite browser and try to identify what all what properties are available on the system okay so let me go straight away into my shell okay so let me start my uh, ubuntu system which i want to scan So this is my Ubuntu system which I am uh, managing using the Ansible. So let me start it. Okay, so as you can see, I am right now on to uh, on my Ubuntu system which I am. Uh, I'm are willing to scan using the openscape tool okay so let me go into my another shell on the host machine so here i'm going to show you a simple uh, very basic uh, playbook ansible playbook uh, which we are going to execute it on the ubuntu system so that playbook is uh, basically going to install the openscape tool and scan the system for vulnerabilities and generate the report okay so let me show you uh, the xml file so this is my openscape uh, uh, scanning uh, playbook wherein uh, we need to run this tool using root basically to identify all the vulnerabilities and uh, as you can see in the task section so first I am identifying the release, Ubuntu release and then I am installing the OpenScape scanner and we are validating the version that is installed on the system and then we are printing the version and the Ubuntu release which we have identified okay so then the important thing that comes is we are preparing a script uh, that we are going to copy onto the managed node and uh, uh, into the var temp location so as you can see and then we are going to execute uh, scan the uh, system for vulnerability using that script okay so this is very basic uh, playbook that we are going to uh, uh, going to run to on the managed node and let me show you that script okay so this script is basically a three-step process as i said uh, we are going to download the xml definition file which is called the oval definition file and then we are going to extract it and we are going to use that xml de definition file using this oscape uh, oval evals uh, tool wherein we pass in that uh, xml uh, xml uh, oval definition file and we are generating two types of reports over here the one is the xml uh, file and the other one is the html file so as you can see the results uh, will generate the xml file and the report is going to generate the html file so you can uh, use these reports to uh, evaluate your system okay so let us try to uh, execute our system uh, playbook so i'm going to run my ansible playbook tool to scan my uh, to execute my playbook scan ubuntu uh, using the user admin one uh, with which i'm able to ssh onto that manager node and pass the admin password okay so you can see the executor uh, execution has started so uh, okay so this is completed so as you can see uh, as per the task uh, it has gathered the facts of the node 
then uh, the Ubuntu release and in, it has installed the OpenScape uh, scanner tool and validate, validated the installation. Then we have printing the OpenScape version that is currently uh, we have installed. This is 1.2.16 and then printing the Ubuntu release uh, which is focal. And we have copied the script onto the manage node with this task and try to analyze the uh, system using this uh, OpenScape tool and the policy, policy definition file that we are going to uh, like download using this script. Okay, so if let us now go into our uh, system. So as you can see, uh, we can go into var attempt uh, wherein the script is copied. So as you can see, it has generated these two reports uh, uh, with the today's date. Okay, so these reports uh, we can further. So basically, once we have generated these reports, uh, we can. Uh, take those reports either using the SCP tool or any other uh, tool with which you can transfer those reports onto a centralized server and we, we and you can use uh, any of your web servers with which you can browse uh, that folder path with all the reports uh, which are generated and identify your vulnerabilities and uh, so now uh, I, I will I will try to uh, SCP those reports onto my uh, host machine So I am going to take the HTML uh, report as of today's and I'm going to copy it into the current directory. So this has been copied. So now I am going to open my Firefox and try to see my report. Okay. So as you can see this is kind of uh, report that you will be able to get uh, for your Ubuntu system uh, which has been scanned right now and you can see the number of errors is zero and the num uh, number of uh, rules or the, the definitions that have been scanned uh, which are in green are 636 so ideally my system is not vulnerable, vulnerable. Uh, to any kind of uh, CV vulnerabilities that are available. So you can see all these uh, uh, definitions are in green. So in case like there is any definition which is uh, uh, vulnerable, uh, vulnerable uh, then uh, it will show as uh, uh, light orange or light uh, yellow. So that things uh, you will need to fix using the uh, information that has been provided over here okay so this is how uh, like you can scan your system for vulnerabilities and try to identify uh, what all uh, cps are affecting your system and uh, try to mitigate them uh, swiftly okay so this uh, actually will help you uh, rather than uh, uh, trying to uh, what you say uh, rather than trying to uh, keep track of the cv database uh, which are available on the cv uh, websites or uh, NVD websites uh, it will be easy for you to uh, scan your system using this uh, policy definition files and try to identify the vulnerabilities uh, proactively okay so this is one uh, Ubuntu system which I have shown for this uh, for which the policy definition files are provided but if you go into Uh, uh, CIS security oval definition you can try to search for oval definitions okay so it will take you to the CIS oval definition page so this is the uh, website uh, for the oval definitions that are provided by the CIS security and if you go into the uh, repository section and uh, search uh, look for registries okay so these are all the uh, vendors or 
the product owners which are pro providing their own definitions file which you, you can use to actually uh, scan the system so let's say if you want to scan your red hat system like you have the old definition files available at the following location and you can go into version 2 over here and uh, try to download your uh, old definitions file for the version of uh, RHCL server that is installed and you can uh, take any definition file uh, which is uh, which you feel uh, is uh, as uh, as per your uh, server uh, with the application that is installed so if, if you are scanning for specifically for the open shift uh, on the red hat server you can use these definitions file or if you are generally scanning the system for rhel so you can use uh, these definition uh, this definition file okay so this is how like you can uh, uh, take uh, like you can download the respective old definition file and try to scan your system using the oscape tool okay so this is the security vulnerability that i have shown you uh, which uh, you can do but if you go into the uh, getting started of the openscape it will show you the procedure or steps uh, using the scape workbench wherein we download the scape workbench and then we try to scan our system using the policy uh, using a profile okay so this basically is going to uh, do a sec uh, uh, security configuration scan uh, for your system okay based on the policy so that you select uh, and evaluate the system okay and uh, again in the bottom like you can see the command line, command line utility uh, steps are also provided uh, wherein we download the openscape scanner and try to scan using the oscape tool and uh, use the uh, data store uh, security uh, uh, policy definition files which are provided using the security guide uh, package okay so scape security guide package is uh, a package that provides uh, the default uh, uh, some of the default uh, policy definition file for various uh, operating systems which you can use uh, directly from the system okay so this is how uh, like uh, this tool uh, can help you identify the vulnerabilities uh, and proactively uh, tackle them or mitigate them uh, as per the uh, information or the mitigation plan that has been provided in the report okay so yeah uh, this is all i wanted to show you in this uh, uh, video i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all uh, thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day